everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. I've got a little mini series I've been working on of quick and easy acrylic paint Christmas trees. So the first of the three of this series is gonna be this kind of cross hatching style Christmas tree. I'm using fun metallic paint so it gets a little nice shimmer to it. It's quick and easy to do as long as you follow along with the tutorial. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe at any time in the bottom right hand corner of the video. Okay so for this uh, design I just wanted to do something a little fun. Um, it doesn't have to be super realistic. It will just be cute and easy for when you're doing a whole lot of rocks. I've just got a liner brush and some metallic green going on up here. Um, I'm just gonna start by creating lines. And this is kind of a triangle shaped rock, which helps a little bit. If you need to give yourself an outline, you can. But I'm just gonna do a line from left to right, and right to left, and back and forth, while I create kind of a tree shape with my lines. I just like the idea of having some good beginner tutorials for you guys. You don't have to have these perfect, realistic, natural trees. There's plenty of other ways that we can make some fun Christmas trees this season. So once you've got some fun lines on here, you can kind of see the structure or the shape of the tree. Then we're going to go in with another shade of green. So I've got some white mixed in here with my green, like an intermediate kind of color green here. I'll slide down so you can see. I'm just using the back side of my brush to kind of blend it together. Okay, so if you see up here, see I've got just like a medium tone that I've created. So I'm gonna go right back into that with my liner brush. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna create these hashes that create the tree shape. I try to kind of have like an invisible triangle in my mind that I'm trying to stay inside of. And it's okay if you have these kind of edges that pop out because they look cute. Okay. Just like that. Isn't that looking adorable? Oh, let's get one more up here. Top. There we go. And then I've got one more shade on here that's a little bit lighter. I'm just going to do a few stripes with that, just a little bit more white. And then we're going to go back to our original one and do that last. There we go. I'm gonna just I'm just wiping off my brush. I'm not even rinsing it in water. I'm just kind of rubbing it on a washcloth, my art cloth, I should say. Super cheap rag. All right, right back into the very first green we did. We want to end on that nice darker color. So I'm gonna start on the edges and kind of just pull them in. And they're gonna blend a little bit because we're working with all of our paint while it's wet. So you'll get all these beautiful different variations of green. It's really kind of pretty, but it doesn't take long to make. Like I painted that whole thing in like three minutes. So um, we're gonna let this dry completely and then we're going to decorate it. All right, so our tree's pretty dry. We're gonna come in here and we're just gonna start adding ornaments. I'm gonna use the back side of my brush and I'm just gonna go in. I've got some metallic red back here and some gold and we're just gonna add on a few little dots for ornaments. I'm not pressing down really hard so that I can keep my dots fairly small. I don't want really big ornaments all over this tree. You can change up the size the sizes based on how much you push down with your brush. And we'll put quite a few on here like that and then just wipe off the edge. And we'll come in with some gold. Do the same thing. Okay, now if you want to put something on the top, you could give it a nice big bit of gold paint. 
and a topper. And then if you go back in with your liner side, you can kind of pull that gold out in a few directions and you'll get yourself a little star up here. It's a little easier than trying to draw a star up, down, over, and across on a tree. And there we go. Super simple Christmas tree, right? Anybody can do that. Perfect for beginners. I hope you enjoyed this super simple, easy tutorial. I think all together, painting time, it took me under five minutes. So I can make a bunch of these to hide around town and brighten a lot of people's day. Um, last thing that you could possibly do here, um, if you wanted to, you could add a little stump coming out the bottom. Um, I do have some brown back here. It's the same thing as that metallic. You could add just a little stomp sneaking out from the base. If you feel like it's some finish, I feel like it needed one last little thing. And you could add words to this rock as well. So everybody have a wonderful day. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and we'll see you soon with another rock painting tutorial. Bye-bye.